you need to help me. I don't know how to get it. Can someone help me? Oh, guys so we have just arrived outside of Gibraltar so we're just filling up with services now but we can see Gibraltar right behind where we're parking so it's really really cool look at that so here we are just filling up the water using the services so we can sit for a few days yeah that's the plan it's gonna be beautiful it is especially now we're back at a marina yeah so we've got the boats all lined up there and then on we do we do and then we've obviously got Gibraltar and the runway so a bit of boat and plane spotting I think going on whilst we're here yeah it's gonna be I think uh, it's always cool trying to see the planes coming there might not be as many this time of year ah well we're gonna be here for a few days we've got to at least spot we'll one we'll yeah there uh, must be about 80 vans here ah. 14 pounder or 14 ah. euro a night that's nearly a thousand euros a day they're making up this car park. No. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, no hiccups. Need. That's crazy. So we were going to brave walking up the Rock of Gibraltar today, but we've changed our mind. I think with a two-year-old, his little legs or me carrying him, it's going to be too hard work. So. We're going to get on the cable car. Is that amazing, Teddy? Look. It's quite scary. Let's do it. This way. Oh, there we go. Right, move up. Uh, Teddy. Sit down as well. Do you not like them? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Truth's coming out. Now. I know. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. Oh my god. <laughs> this is also a bit scary. I know this is the experience. Oh my gosh. Babe. Good babe, seriously. Babe, you need to help me. Can someone help me? Oh Oh my gosh, you would have not seen any of that, but that was horrendous. We just got attacked by a monkey. <sighs> I don't even want to be here anymore. <laughs> oh my gosh. That monkey is now eating our lunch. He's enjoying those crisps. I can't believe it. You didn't even help me very much. There was a monkey on my back. So just to explain a bit what happened then, we'd surely got off the cable car like within two minutes of getting off the cable car, walked around the corner to look at the view over, you know, Gibraltar and, and Spain. And, and then it happened. We saw the monkeys. Two seconds later, they were one of them, the biggest one, was on my back. It was like having a child on my back. It was ridiculous. So I was scrambling there. Richard tried to help a little bit. He did help in the end after, started laughing a bit as well. Um, I did help. <laughs> I was trying to get the bag off her, so then I had the bag, and then they could get out of there, but. Yeah, you helped, you helped in the end, but it, was, it, was, it wasn't pleasant. That was not nice. Uh, and they managed to steal our crisps. So it managed to actually unzip my bag. They say don't undo your bag, move your bags around, because then they'll, you know, be on you. But it was on me without doing any of that. So maybe it's because we're a family and they know that families have snacks. I actually think Rick's going to be laughing for the rest of the day. <laughs> it was really funny. Like, you have to look back at these things and think that was actually really hilarious. Uh, honestly, but... I think I've actually got like scratches on my back. It was a whopper. It really was. So anyway, you might notice that I'm now wearing my bag on my front 
I'm not sure if that's uh, worse or better to be honest if they jump on my front I ain't gonna like that either but we're just now moving on from the monkey ordeal hopefully we're just now gonna go and find the okay. skywalk which is the first thing we've got on our list of uh, things to do up here this right here is the skywalk yeah no monkeys happen so if you look down through the glass you'll see it's a big drop this is a big drop it's just there well yeah yeah, on that side there is. Oh. Wowee. Them monkeys are not good. So that's the Gibraltar Skywalk done. It was a little bit disorientating as you get up the top there, but epic, epic views out to sea. Right, so we've just arrived in St Michael's Cave. Now it's all illuminated in here in a minute, so it should look pretty awesome. Wow. <laughs> all the different colours. Look at that. Wow, we. I like there's a toy about in here. It's a so colourful. Alright then guys, so we've, uh, we're now in St Michael's Cave as Kira said and um, for those of you who don't know this is like there's a theatre within it so you can actually sit down here and every seven minutes there's uh, like a light show which we've just watched the end of so we're just going to sit around um, have a little bite to eat even though you're not supposed to do that It's away from the monkeys though so Away from the monkeys, that's, the that is the thing, yeah so big rule for this place, if you come up try not to take a backpack and definitely try not to take food um, but yeah, these monkeys are a bit unruly. You know, that's it's not good in my opinion. Um, but they're cool to see. Um, there is people feeding them and that sort of stuff. <laughs> so make it out, we're really enjoying the monkeys. We're really enjoying <laughs> we them. We're not. not. <laughs> no, the monkeys this time. They're worse this time. And another yeah. thing me and Kira have noticed is we came here in 2019, and this time it's more commercialised. Like we're now here. There's photo taking. You have and to scan your wristband at all the attractions. Yeah, which didn't really work very well. No, it didn't. They no. could have just looked and let us in, but they yeah. didn't. Um, but yeah, overall it is really good. It's definitely something that you should worth checking out. Um, but we've still got the Apes Den to go past. Yeah, we, we can't so wait for that. We can't wait for that. So if you, if you don't see us and if we don't put out a, a vlog after this, then it's because we haven't survived Apes Den. What is it? The mountains over there in the distance. Uh, is Africa. So we've just done St. Michael's Cave. We basically came up the cable, tar, cable car to the top. We've walked along St Michael's, done the skywalk, St Michael's Cave, we've done, and now we're basically down here near Windsor Bridge. And then we've got Apes Den. Dun dun dun! Who's ready? Me! Me! Yeah, Go you're on, on your feet, Ted. You're not ready. being carried. Go! Go! Go on, monsters! You're going to say monkeys then, weren't you? Monkeys. I ain't saying that. <laughs> Don't say ever, monkeys. <laughs> oh, it is wobbly. No, don't make the, Do not what? jump. Why not? Hi, pal. I was jumping. Why oh, you get seasick then? Oh, no. It's actually... Oh, it's quite a good one. No, it is actually quite good. It's a big drop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just make, just make us nervous. We haven't even gone that far. It's pretty cool. So we're now just approaching Ape's Den, but we've stopped, stopped dead in our tracks because we're all a little bit nervous. <laughs> There's no one else is here, is there? So it's just like, you know, if there's anyone that's going to be a target, it'll be us. So Rick's got a plan. He's put the little bag in the big bag and he's going to put our, his hoodie over the backpack. So hopefully, I thought you were going to wear it over. What do you mean? I thought you were going to fit that underneath. Does that look stupid? I mean, it does look stupid. How am I looking big? <laughs> they can still see the sides, Dad. Well. Let's, they're gonna, they might come up to us regardless, so we all just need to be oh, a bit brave, I think. But I'm just a bit worried, like, because no one else is here, so... Are we the stupid ones going to the ape's den? And last time we came uh, here, we actually missed 
our ape's den because we walked all the way to the other side of the rock to the battery so this is a completely new experience and we have no idea what to expect looking ahead of me i can just see one big monkey and one very tiny baby monkey but i imagine there's quite a few hiding behind that wall uh, that's it babe looking good <laughs> the ultimate protection <laughs> is your back seven sore? months pregnant <laughs> We can do this, guys. I think we can. No, we can't. I don't want to. Maybe we just wait for more people. Oh. I don't want to go. I'm not going. I think we just go keep up with these people. We're losing our. I just don't know. It's not happening. Baby. But we're losing. Baby, now we're going to lose these people. There's a monkey right there. Yeah, there's there. a monkey right there. But it's okay. It's having a sleep. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yes. Yeah, Okay. Okay. It's 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 We've been traumatised by the apes, now it's time to get traumatised by the snakes. Do you know what, when I first saw this, I just thought it was some zigzaggy, windy road. <laughs> that's what I thought, cool, that's a windy road. <laughs> it's not, it's uh, snakes. There we go. This says to avoid the juvenile monkeys from jumping on you, refrain from leaning on walls and railings near them. But let's be frank, that monkey that jumped on me, was that a juvenile? That was pretty big. It was huge. It was a monster. Yeah. It was huge because it's eating crisps all day. <laughs> Our little what's it? And they're damn good crisps. I know. I'm a bit gutted about that. Right then, we're just now heading down. We decided not to catch the cable car. Um, despite the sign saying you can catch it halfway down, because there is like this little station halfway down, uh, they're not doing that today. So. Um, there's just no point backtracking to the top station either from where we were, so it made no sense. So just heading down, walking down. And it's nice having a walk, to be fair. It's, it is. Yeah. Good to experience both, but uh, yeah, we're heading down, then we're going to head to Morrison's, because this one... I'm looking forward to that. It's been a while yeah. since we've been in a British you're more, You're more you know, after, interested after in going this, to no, Morrison's than anything else. traumatic event, I need to go to Morrison's. I'm going to look for White Zinfandel and some magic stars, and that's me sorted for the day. Yeah, classy bird. Classy. <laughs> classy. <laughs> Easily pleased, I'll go. Yeah, that's it. He's taking me to the wine section. Oh, let's have a look. Is it Prosecco? I don't really want Prosecco though. Where is it? These are like your offer ones. Yeah. Rick is happy. <laughs> I'm surprised you're not going for the big one down there. <laughs> well, you should see how much is it? £1.40 a kg, that's 170 a kg. Oh, I'll go for this one. I haven't had Yorkshire tea in ages. And Spanish tea is not very good comparison. It's, it's weak, yeah. isn't it? Just found ourselves on the chocolate aisle. I tell you something, like the chocolate out here in Europe, it just doesn't compare to the chocolate hey, in Britain. What you found? I found your favourite. Magic stars, Kira's yes. favourite. But well, they're two pound, which is not happening. It is happening. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Me, you just throw on the floor. I was hoping to get I the that's basket. One of my children I thought that was going to be an epic shot then. Right, can I try again? And I've just spotted something else that here in Europe you just can't find. Squash. And it's squash! squash. <laughs> Jack, squash. So we'll pick up a bottle today and we can stock up and tomorrow maybe it's with the rest. The Morrison's one. Oh, oh, you found it? There's Rick. Where's the cheap one? Where's the cheap one? That ain't cheap at 150. <laughs> and they use like 65p. No, that's how much they cost. You're out of touch, babe. Just at the checkout, and Piper's told me that she put my wham down somewhere. So I'm now just having to go and look for another wham before Richard finishes up at the checkout. What are you doing, girly? I'm sorry. We'll try again, shall we? A wham. Let's go. Sorry. Come on. <laughs> Found it. 
Right, that's us now back at the van. Nice and settled. We're gonna get a cup of tea on, but none of that, none of the Spanish tea that I've been used to. I've got my Yorkshire tea, bourbons, and some scones. And Kira has gone for <laughs> magic stars and strawberry daiquiri. So I think I'm showing me age a little bit. Uh, Kira's gone all youthful, and I've gone traditional oh, British, traditional Britain, bourbon, Yorkshire tea, and scones. Fantastic. <laughs> Right, so the way to make a perfect cup of tea, boiling water, tea bag, three to five minutes. And I've got me, even got me timer, because I haven't had Yorkshire tea in a while and I want a perfect brew. And just to put it out there, anyone that puts in milk in first, yeah, you're a grot. That's what you are, a grot. So today it's my seventh birthday, but dad bought me a 30th birthday banner. Obviously thinks he's funny. I woke up super early to open my presents and then it was time for cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Piper. Happy birthday to you. Just now walking in for day two of Gibraltar and we're not getting the bus this time. We are going to be walking over that famous runway into Gibraltar, which we're all very much looking forward to. There we are, just coming onto the runway now and see this big Royal Air Force aeroplane, looks pretty cool. When I'm walking on the breeze, I got no enemies, I just do what I please. Look at that. So we're not actually having much luck when it comes to birthday shopping for Piper. To be honest, most of the shops, the tourist shops, selling obviously all the monkeys, all the monkey sort of souvenirs, and then we've got a few, well, a lot of jewelry shops. Like every other shop seems to be a jewelry shop, so hopefully we'll find something. Happy birthday! Rich has only got an order of six drinks for our family of five. <laughs> the menu was a typo. Oops. Yeah, they're very hot. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Probably the saddest pizza hut we've ever been to. It was definitely the saddest pizza hut. It was just, there was no vibe in there. There was no music and the lighting was just really bright. It just didn't feel right. Something was just a bit off, wasn't it? And it was a bit different to the Pizza Hut in the UK, the menu was different. They didn't have like the vegetarian option. Obviously there was cheese, but then yeah. the drink portions, like the drink sizes were like, a regular was like a kid's tumbler. Yeah, it was. we ordered regular yeah. thinking it'd be normal size, but it was kid sized drink. That was a really weird vibe. But then like the portions were big portions otherwise, but then Piper ordered a four cheese pizza because she's vegetarian. And I thought that would just be all the mild cheeses, but then that came out and that was basically like your, your blue cheese. So automatically she didn't, like that obviously don't think many kids do like blue cheese so she had to have a bit of ours we take the pepperoni off but the main thing is it sounded a bit windy we sound a bit down there don't we but the main thing is we had the, fun the birthday girl did really enjoy it didn't you Pip? yeah you did and you're coming away and you're happy yeah, yeah. so that's good so top tip if you're doing van life in the uk head to your local morrison's Obviously we're here in Gibraltar, but they've got one here too. And they have this book library. This is probably the biggest one we've actually seen. So you can just come and look at the books, take the books home, bring your books here, or either like put some money into the donation box that they have here as well. Really, really good. So we've just spent about 10 minutes rifling through. Kids have got some great books. You got some, Pip? How many have you got? The Tiara Club. Tiara Club. Butterfly Ball. Yeah. Magic Kittens. Um, a Christmas surprise. Oh, a bit Christmassy. A bit early. All late. Magic Kitten. Double Trouble. Yeah. And Frozen. Awesome. And Jack's got a couple. <laughs> Even found a DVD here as well. And I've got, I've got some books for me. Not sure if Richard's found any yet. 
I Still found looking. Jungle Book. Jungle Book. And flying. Awesome. Flying thing. Right guys, that sums up our time in Gibraltar. It has been good fun and this right here is an excellent park up. So if you're coming to Gibraltar, stay at the Lalidia Marina. You can stay up for three days. We've now reached that limit, so this is why we're heading off. We were going to be heading to Tarifa, which is the most southern point of Europe but we've heard there's a storm coming in so we're going to backtrack a little bit to a park up we stayed at just before we arrived in Gibraltar hopefully ride out the storm and then we'll see where is next don't forget to click like leave us a nice comment or a horrible one whatever you fancy and subscribe to our channel